Hello everyone. Welcome back to our E class. Today we are going to study chapter number 18, Social Studies, class third. And I am going to guide you about part two. In part one, students, what we studied. Let's have a quick revision. In part one, we studied about environment. What is environment? Then, can anyone tell me what is environment? Yes. Okay. Very good. So it comprises of the surroundings and the conditions in which we live. Very good. So next is pollution. What is pollution? We understood a new word, a new term. We got to know in pollution, which was pollutants and the contaminants. Contamination is basically the pollutants. It is uh, pollution is basically the mixing of contaminants in the air, which creates the pollution. Right? Now we are going to and then we studied about air pollution, the types of pollution. We have air pollution, water pollution, and uh, land pollution, soil pollution, and uh, everything we are having in pollution is comprised in types of pollution. We studied air pollution in our previous class, which was in part one. Now we are going to study part two. In air pollution, students, we studied about the effects of air pollution, the major measures and solutions we can have in air pollution to control it. Like we can use public mode of transport, we can conserve energy, and like that, we will be able to. Uh, control and conserve our energy, and uh, similarly the uh, measures for air pollution also be taken. Now we are going to study about part two, which is water pollution. Which is water pollution about? Le let's get started. Water pollution. Water pollution. As the name says, it is the pollution in water. Water pollution is the water gets so get contaminated. It is called water pollution. So water is polluted due to human activities, industrial household, and sewage things also. And if we are releasing our sewages, our industrial things in water, and it is polluting that water, that is known as water pollution. Other activities like washing clothes or bathing the animals in rivers in rural areas also cause water pollution. Water is polluted by soil and other particles brought by the storm. Sometimes leakage from oil tanks also pollute water. So we need to take care of of all these things. Like a sewage is proper. If we are polluting the water, we will not be getting healthy healthy water or the clean water to drink. And we eventually will it will lead in the sickness of our body, unhealthy body. Like we all know that a healthy body. All always uh, uh, there is a healthy healthy body when there is healthy water, healthy food, everything. But if we will not be getting healthy water, what will happen? We will not be healthy. Ultimately, we will not be healthy. We will be having unhealthy body. We will be sick, right? Now, what are effects of water pollution? Basically, it is the contamination. Contamination of water. What is water pollution? The contamination of water is water pollution. Now, what are the effects of water pollution? Effects of water pollution. What causes water pollution? The wildlife. The wildlife, plants, animals get adversely effects of water pollute, polluted water. Right? Why they get adversely affected by polluted water? Because they just survive on that water. Like the water which is nearby our house or the lake is there, and we are releasing our, we are washing our clothes there, and we are releasing all the water 
all the waste water in that lake or river what happens that is being consumed by animals wildlife animals and the uh, plants nearby plants so they will not be happy they will ultimately fall sick the animals will be depleted they will fall sick so like that we need to take care of our surroundings also and we need to take care of our plants and animals right swimming in and drinking contaminated water causes skin rashes and health problems if we are swimming in contaminated water what is contaminated water yes very good so contaminated water is the polluted water the mixtures of pollutants in the water is contaminated water so if we are swimming in contaminated water what will happen we'll get rashes on our face on our body wherever means wherever the water goes in even in fact if we are by chance the water goes inside us we will fall sick right so contaminated water can cause rashes to the skin and health problems now what is the other uh, effect of water uh, water pollution is aquatic aquatic life is uh, poison how due to um, chemical spills in the water cause animals to die like aquatic animals fishes we see law means new uh, new species you cannot see earlier there were many octopus many uh, types of fishes were there but now we cannot see many types of fishes or many type of different kinds of uh, uh, aquatic animals why because they are depleting they are dying because of their uh, habitat it is being polluted when it is polluted we cannot survive in that pollution that's why it the pollution occurs and we cannot survive uh, the aquatic life is being affected because of water pollution now what can be done it affects what nation or skin on skin other thing what you call depletion of aquatic life depletion of aquatic life aquatic life means species right the uh, the water plants there are many plants which which occur in water only very uh, very nice and very healthy plants they can also die now we need to see the measure the solution for this what is the solution of solution of water pollution what is the solution can anyone suggest me what are the solutions we can see in water pollution like what all are the things uh, we can deplete these things how can we uh, uh, what is the solution how can we deplete this uh, thing how can we have a clean water and the water is not even uh, you know contaminated how can we do it you can write down in the comment box below also i can hear you we, we are studying in the same level right so we should never throw rubbish into water bodies like beach rivers lakes oceans we should never throw up any rubbish like especially plastics any rubbish should not be thrown in the water bodies we should always be suitable and covered dustbin for this purpose we should always use dustbins we have been uh, we are having uh, like in last chapter we studied what is swachh bharat abhiyan we studied about swachh bharat abhiyan also what is swachh bharat abhiyan that it was uh, um, launched on 2nd of october right by the prime minister narendra modi why it was uh, uh, scheduled it was launched then because we need to have a clean and neat india right so we are implementing new dustbins in the clean areas and everything so we should throw the uh, rubbish all the garbages be it plastic be it thermocol or any cloth or anything in the closed cover dustbins only do not throw it anywhere or in the water bodies no do not throw it just throw it in proper places in the cover dustbins only we should use water wisely and judiciously what do you mean by judiciously yes that means you have to think before you waste water if you need water you use water if you do not need water please do not waste it 
right? Do not open the tap and just you are just brushing your teeth and the tap is open. No, don't do it. Just close the tap if you are brushing. Whenever you need the water, you can take it in a uh, glass or you can uh, use it directly, but do not waste it, right? We should not keep the tap running when not in use. What, like what I said, we should not keep the tap running when it is not in use. We should never throw chemicals, oils, paints and harmful materials in the waste bins or the washrooms. Never throw it. If the oil has been spilled, you just collect it in a container or in a poly bag, just throw it in the dust. Don't throw it in the water bodies directly. Because as you all know, oil is not as, means it is not soluble in water. It does not get soluble in water. We studied in earlier chapters also what is soluble material, what is insoluble material. So it does not get soluble in water and it's, uh, it stands separate from water and that water gets contaminated also, we cannot separate it also. It is a long, long procedure to separate oil from water, right? We should, uh, we should now not use pesticides, insecticides and fertilizers Thus, should be checked. Means over, we should not overuse it. If we are, even if we are using, we should not overuse it. It should be used in a proper manner. Right? So, the use of uh, proper fertilizers, pe uh, pesticides and everything you, uh, should be used in proper, uh, uh, you know, quantity. Not in over. Right? So this is all we have. Uh, what we have in uh, water pollution, in sol what are the solutions for water pollution? The solution is we should use it wisely. Do not throw chemicals. Chemicals. Chemicals into the water. and should not throw rubbish into the water. So these are all the points for water, water pollution. What is water pollution? Let's have a quick recap. What is water pollution? Water pollution is basically the contamination of water. What is contaminated water? Contaminated water is the pollutants, when different pollutants mix into water, that makes the water contaminated. And that is the contamination of water. Now, what are the effects of water pollution on us, on our, our surroundings? The water pollution can cause rashes on skin. If we are uh, swimming in uh, contaminated water, it can cause rashes on skin. The depletion of aquatic life is there. In, for animals, the animals and the aquatic life depletes because of this water pollution only. And what else? Due to chemicals also, chemical spills in the water, it gets depleted. Now what are the solutions and measures for water pollution? How should we deplete water pollution? So water pollution can be depleted by if we are means uh, using it wisely and if we are not uh, keeping our taps open and uh, uh, while we are using the, the taps are not running while we are using the water. We should never throw chemicals, oils in the uh, water bodies like lakes, oceans, rivers. We should never throw uh, rubbish in that also. And the overuse of pesticides, insecticides and fertilizers should be checked. It should be checked that uh, it is in the proper usage. That is the solution of water pollution. Right? So that's all we have for today. And I hope you understood this chapter, this part. This is not the whole chapter, this is just the part 2 of this chapter. The chapter is Environment and Pollution. Chapter number 18, part 2. Part 1 was our air pollution, part 2 is water pollution. I hope this, what is water pollution, what are the effects of water pollution and what is the solution for water pollution is clear to you now. Even if it is not clear better, you can just write it down in the comment section below and we will get back to you with the same topic and we will explain it to you in the better manner. Thank you for listening to me very carefully. Have a nice day.